So bear with me. Okay, so you could be any sign, baby, okay? You could be a zebra. You could be a dragon. Baby, you could be any sign, okay? Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Arizona Sash, you and I Libra Aquarius, baby. Whatever you want to dress up in, baby, be that, okay? But thank you for joining the channel, y'all. Thank you for hitting just some Altero. All right. I'm Lauren. I'm going to be your reader for today. How are you? Okay. <laughs> You guys, I'm in such a good mood. I just had me a nice pulled pork sandwich with sweet barbecue sauce and onion. Oh, my gosh. Food puts me in a great mood. Kind of slow down because of, you know, my belly, you know. And I'm supposed to be having a hot girl summer. But I don't want a hot girl summer because I'm not a hot girl. Okay? I'd rather be a queen of pentacles. All right? You know, waiting and manifesting for my hubby to come through. I'm not married, so... I'm going to have me a husband, y'all. I am collective. What you doing? Let's go. Spirit, what we got going on for the collective? All right, baby. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, for clearing out the energy for my lovely collective spirit. What is the message for the collective? Please and thank you. Ooh, first card out. Rejection. Somebody collective cannot handle your rejection. I'm also getting energy here just looking at this card alone, okay? I feel like there's this energy here, like five of cups, okay? Eight of cups, eight of cups, five of cups energy, okay? Um, what am I hearing? You better not, I better not never catch you. What is that about, collective? Divine feminine, okay? Yeah, you pulled some, you pulled your energy back. <laughs> and somebody got, because of somebody's cloudy judgment, somebody couldn't see you for who you are. This person rejected you. You pulled your energy bit. Spirit, give me something else here. What's going on for the collective? My dear collective. Clarity. Yeah. Mm hmm Somebody kept rejecting you. And you got clarity on that. Own, own that. Wow, own that. You got the truth. Mm hmm You see someone's intentions for what they are, but let me tell you something. Uh, you pulled your energy back from this person. has got them all, like, in their head. Okay? That the person that rejected you is now feeling rejected and they see that you have clarity about them. Somebody here is feeling very sick. Yeah, second chance. Look at that. Mm. So this person collected went towards, they rejected you, got clarity. When you got the clarity, somebody rejected you. When you got that clarity, you walked away from somebody. You let them go. I don't know, I'm getting eight of cups, five of cups here, but I'm feeling like the five of cups is on their end and the eight of cups is on your end, okay? Now they're sad that you've walked away. Before, you refused to walk away and they were in the five of cups because they were about, the, they were thinking they were hooked up on somebody else. That's what this is. They went back. Look, they rejected you, felt like they got clarity on a second chance with another person had a reconciliation with somebody else. Yep, now they want to apologize. Tell me I'm making this stuff up. Mm -mm. I'm not. I prefer not to. Yep. Enough time has went by. You see this person looking at their watch? Hmm. Somebody's hoping that... Okay, they're fine. Divine Feminine. A lot of you, okay, male or female, okay, you're hoping that this person, okay... Somebody went back to somebody else. They left you in the dust. They went back to another person. And now, now somebody's expecting to come in. They're trying, they want to come and bring you an apology, but they're waiting for time to pass by. Somebody feels like you need cool off time and you'll for, you won't forget, but time does, you know, time does heal. But I think this person's being a little too, they need a little bit of humbleness to them because I feel a bit of arrogance here. Okay. I feel a little bit of that. Second chance. What is this? Yeah, look. 
they were released. Your person was released from somebody else. They thought they had, they rejected you, thought they were clear to go ahead and go have a reconciliation with somebody. Now they want to apologize, hoping that enough time has went by because they were let go of the F, they, they were let go of. Now, whether they were let go of or someone let go of them, but this is what I'm seeing here. Just enough time needs to go by and I'm going ahead and come back to the collective. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Not on my watch or not. <laughs> Not on my watch. Look, on my watch. Look at that. Time does heal things collectively. Let me say something for a second. Let me say something real quick. Just because time has went by does not mean this person has made the necessary changes, okay? Something else did not work out. We're going to get some tarot. Something else did not work out. Yes. So someone's influenced to let you go. Someone was influenced here by, mm, by other people. The third part could be a job. It influenced them to stay away from you or not stay away from you, but I don't have time for you. I can't do this. I can't do that. Or, you know, um, they may have had a connection that was off and on in a, in a way, shape, or form. But what they didn't know that when they were going after this other person for reconciliation, they were actually rolling dice when they were doing that. They rolled, they rolled dice, okay? And they lost. Apology time releasing. They lost. Okay, it didn't go as they planned, okay? Now they're walking away. You walked away from them, and now they're walking away from somebody else. Now they're hoping that you're going to spin the block. They're influenced. They're influenced by other people to reject something that's good and kind. I don't know why I'm getting that energy, because I saw the Divine Feminine card at the back of the deck, and I felt gentleness. I felt ease. I felt lilies. I felt flowers. I felt feminine. It, it was feminine energy. It was giving, yeah. Somebody's realizing that they made a mistake. They were influenced by somebody here, collective. You have somebody here that actually is a bit weak. I'm going to be honest. They like to be attached to people that give them validation. But what this person that you're dealing with doesn't understand is they think they're using their, be their best judgment, and they're not. What they're doing is they need validation from people. Um, this might have been somebody, collective, that you were dealing with that had may have been bullied in school, Okay. They may have had people around them that were not that didn't approve of them. Maybe the things they wore and things like that. So somebody here is very like stuck in the energy of being validated by people that have, you know, rejected them. So they reject what's good for them, and they go. They think they have the clarity that they think they're clear on someone. And they had a conversation here. There was a conversation with the third party, somebody they were attached to. I don't feel like this was a long. It could have been long term, but I feel like it was choppy. You know what I mean? It was a back and forth. This person was being rejected by somebody else, and they 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 didn't look at things clearly, as what I'm getting. And they go back for second chances, keep rolling the dice. You know, maybe this time's gonna work. Maybe this time's gonna work. Maybe this time's gonna work. This time they literally like left you in the cold. You left them in the cold, and they went back to someone else. Take that as it resonates. They went back to someone else. Okay, feeling as if they were going to get the bazooka of a connection. Okay, we all know that's a that's big. That's you know it's huge. You know everybody wants one. No, not everybody, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they thought they were gonna go back to something that was gonna be great. I'm also getting here um, collected that this person was actually trying to throw um, you in this person's face, hoping that it was going to up their value. Wow. The clarity card with influences here with rejection. This person was rejected by the attachments and people that they went back to, hoping to roll the dice. You know, this time it's going to be right. This time I'm going to, you know, it's going to work. No, that's not what happened. It didn't happen that way. Spirit, what else? For the collective? Nala, my dog, my, my scorpion. Look, pretending, mass exaggerate. Yeah, look. Somebody here was bluffing. Somebody here was pretending as if what they were going towards was better than you in some way. They felt they, they made you seem like they were so sure, the clarity card. They were so sure that this attachment or person or people, places and things was where it was at. They they like they acted like they didn't have any time for you. Yeah. The whole time you were conflicted, like what am I doing wrong? Am I not good enough? Okay, yeah. And now this person's look, this is all they see. Why? Because you were the only person there. Yeah, look at this beauty. 
this is like my empress. To me, this looks like an empress. Okay, this is an empress card. Look at what you look who you are. Now they only want to be around you. Yeah. Why are they coming back to apologize collective? Because the memories are too hard to bear without you. They're tired of sitting in memory lane. Okay. Now it's good to it's it's awesome to fantasize, I guess, if you want to. Nothing wrong with that. But when you get tired of that, then what do you do? You start wanting the real deal. Somebody's coming back. Somebody's coming back. And you do have the right to say, well, I'm hearing this everywhere. Well, you haven't heard it on this channel yet, okay? And if you have, we'll count it. One, two, three. Whatever's going on here, I feel, my dear collective, is that you have actually been... Uh, it's your time that you're about to reject this person if you'd rather do that. But I feel like that's what's coming up. I feel like you feel right now in this moment in time that you probably wouldn't want to work this out again. But I feel like when it's finally time for this person to come through, yeah, your boundaries will be up. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to reject many of you oil. Because uh -huh. this person released you and they got released and now here they come back. There's boundaries that need to be put up. They're pretending. They were conflicted by these people that they're around. Should I stay? Should I go? Okay, I'm going to stay because I need to prove something. This is somebody that I, I, I'm not being rude or anything, but this person did have a lot of hard time growing up. Okay. They weren't accepted in their social circles and things like that. So this person found you to be a baddie. That's what I'm hearing, a baddie. Boundaries, baddie. Baddie needs to set boundaries. That's you, collective. Male or female. You could be a baddie and be a man. It doesn't matter. Baddie needs to set boundaries because someone here was conflicted, okay? They were conflicted of the differences. This person had very little self-esteem, and I feel divine feminine. For many of you, if you're a divine feminine or masculine, you were you you didn't have low self-esteem. I feel like you're kind of ahead of this person. Because of rejection, clarity, and second chance, that's something kind of childish. Reject something because you think you have clarity, and you're bluffing to go give something else a second chance, and then you want to come back because you're conflicted. You're conflicted. You got walked away from. So now you're waiting for time to come by so you can come and apologize. You're conflicted on how this is going to work out. Whoever this person is, collective, your person's come. The, the time that you hear zero, zippo, nothing is because this person's trying to come up with a plan on the drawing board of how to come back to you after they rejected you. Yeah, look, distracted. They got distracted by somebody they felt they needed to prove a point to, okay? And now they need to return. Now we got, look, second chance, rolling the dice. And now here's a second chance. This is like the return. It doesn't say second chance, but you know what I mean. Almost the same, almost the same thing. Second chance, yeah, it says it there. Second chance, opportunity, making amends. Now look at the dice over here looking kind of loose. And then here we are with the return card. And it looks like that's something that's kind of more stable. Hmm. If just enough time goes by, yeah they'll be healed. They're healing. And I just know that if I let some time go by, I can come back through and I can apologize. Everything, all is well. Nothing's wrong. I'll be good. That's what I'm getting here. Look, divine feminine, feminine energy, perspective is changed about this person. And when it comes by, Maybe right now, a lot of you feminines, you feel like, you know what? I'm going to, that's my person. You know, I'm going to accept them back. They got done wrong. And that's fine, babe. But Spirit's saying that when this person, by the time they make up their mind to actually do, to come back into your life, you're going to have up such strong boundaries. This person's going to be afraid of them. You see how, you may not speak. Yeah, you see that big, thick wall there? Boundaries. Period. It's funny, the second chance, the dice is just rolling all over the place. Look at the difference between these two. Second chance and return. What looks more stable, more peaceful, more calm? Right you are, Harry. This one right there. The pottery, whatever they're doing there. This person thought where they were going back was a castle. They thought they were going back to a very, very loyal person. Okay, no joke. They were too legit to... This person they felt was too legit to quit. But their their gut exaggerated. Whatever the heck it was, it was masked. Whatever they went back to, it, was, it had a big fat mask on it. And whoever it was, they were prepared for Halloween in the summertime. In the winter, it don't matter. They were ready for it. That mask was on pretty deep. 
Now, what this person wanted to share with you, what they were bluffing about, what they were pretending about, is that the person they were going back to was better than you. We know that, you know, sometimes collective, I know. Not everybody's better than the next and things like that. No, it's about the choices you make. That's what kind of sets you apart from other individuals. Say whatever you want. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's how I feel in general, period. Your choices are better than other people's choices. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And this person was attached to something that was very kind of like low vibrational, conflicting. It's like somebody here shift, shifted whenever they got good and ready. Yeah, clashing differences, incompatibility. They know they were like crashing waves. Like it, was, it just wasn't going to work. But for some reason, they had to pretend like what they were going to, what they were going to roll the dice on, what they were distracted by. That caused them to continuously reject you. They didn't have to say collective, oh, I'm rejecting you. They didn't have to say it, honey. It's their actions that you looked at. Feminine energy, divine, divine, divine beings, whoever I'm speaking with, okay? You don't have to call yourself that. You can just call yourself Plano, Plano, fine. But I'm feeling here, this was projection. Someone here was very, very inspired by you being rejected and not coming after them for a second chance to kind of prove, validate me, validate me. This is what they do to people because they've been treated badly. I feel like um, collective, you've been done dirty too in life, but the choices you have learned, you learn from those things. This person, I feel like they're still in a learning curve here. I have to be honest because them coming back just, you know, I was distracted. Oh, you know, there's a delay and, you know, I, you know, I released them. They're lying. They've been released from somebody else. And because that situation didn't work out, or maybe they weren't even released. Maybe they're just walking away because they keep getting, you know, hammered on, you know, cheated on. Like they just, they keep trying to rebuild something with dice. And here we are doing a whole, you know, doing a whole different thing. It's like grown folk over here, grown folks over here with the return. And it's like baby blocks over there with the second chance. That's what it looks like to me. That's what I'm feeling. It's different. There's a difference. And that clarity they thought they had, no. Nope. They didn't have that clarity. This person had already... This person, let me tell you something, uh, Collective. Somebody here did portray, yeah, this beautiful beauty, this handsome person, which is you, Collective. What they did was they threw, your, they threw you all in someone else's face that they needed validation from. And they thought that the person that they were wanting to deal with, okay, the person that they threw, you, you they threw you in their face, that person... They were supposed to leave who they were dealing with for for your the person you're connecting with because they threw you in that person's face. So they drop whatever options they have over there, and then that your person will seem more valid in their eyes. To okay, well you can get someone, so I guess I'll give you a chance. Wrong move, Buster. Spirit, give me something for second chance up there with the wiggly dice. <laughs> Look, divine masculine. So I'm talking to either you. Divine masculine or divine feminine? I felt divine beings a little bit ago. Yeah. The, the masculine was very much distracted here. Okay. They thought they had some clarity on something. They thought they knew it all. Okay. The other card we have, open heart. So this masculine went over to someone else with the open heart, wide open, because they got played. They were influenced. It's influences. It's like someone that actually says, look, you need me to validate your moves, who you are, and if you're worthy. This person is learning to open their heart and love themselves, but they were distracted by a third party that they kept going back to. This person made them feel like they were on top of the world whenever they would give them attention. But what this masculine is going to have to open their heart and actually be receptive to and to actually understand is that they're an empath. They may not understand what that means. Or they may not understand how to operate it. You need to always put a cap on that energy. Because if you let it run wild, people will sit there and use, abuse, whatever have you. They will do it. Okay? They will. They will. Your own family members, your mom, your sisters, your cousins, your dog, they'll even use that up. So you've got to learn how to stand up for yourself, masculine. If I am speaking to you, learn how to stand up for yourself. What you did was dirty. Okay, what you did was dirty to this feminine, and you expect this feminine to come back with open arms. Come on, baby. No, there's something you don't have to learn here from this feminine. You have to learn something from this feminine. As much as it might mess with your, um, it might mess with your pride a bit, but you're going to be okay. That's what you need. This is going to make you stronger. Because whatever you ran back to trying to get that validation, that was already false. It was not false, but it was already kind of, um, 
it was a very shaky foundation. That Them dice just look like they're not solid. But the clarity you thought you saw was maybe you heard or saw something on social media because it's just like a camera here. So I'm getting, you know, most memories and things are shared on, 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 you know, online and things like that. So that's why I'm getting some type of information was on the Internet, whether it was on a, a social media site, something was seen that somebody was single. And this person was like, OK, good. I'm in the clear. Let me go back. They're, 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 they're ready for me. I know this was going to this started with through text messaging. They were flirting back and forth while this person was rejecting you feminine mm -hmm. why they're rejecting you baby love it's all good no feminine mm -mm. no baby mm -mm. girl you girl shoot mm -hmm. mm -mm. and if this is a and if this is a masculine here seeing themselves as a feminine baby <laughs> okay. okay don't you even worry about it that's all spilled. That's all. That's all biscuits with no water to wash down, honey. They went over there to a dry desert. Speaking of a dry desert, whoever they were dealing with was probably dry. Wasn't no divine. No, wasn't no, no divine. Uh, there was no divine pollen. There was nothing there. It was just. It was dried out. This person had to learn the hard way that what they did. By getting some clarity, by seeing something online, they saw something. I'm seeing someone saw a photo. Um, it's a status change or something here. My divine being, I'm speaking to. And your person, your person ran for it. They ran for it. They needed that validation so badly. I've got to be seen. It should have worked, you know. And I'm getting this also. You know, my dear divine being loves. This person didn't really try to. In they, they 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 weren't truly trying to show or throw you in this person's face their 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 other person the person they were connected with the the valid the i want to call so many bad names <laughs> cuz i don't know why i just feel the energy over there where someone was really taken advantage of and no you know we would sit here and say you know that's what that divine masculine gets and things i'm not feeling that was really good i feel like this divine masculine or this divine feminine was really much picked on by these individuals that they so call friends, family, and things like that growing up, and they've always wanted their validation all their life. That's what I'm getting here with open heart. Their heart was always on that little string. Look at this. Always open, ready to receive their love, and finally, I got clarity. I saw something. I know it. I'm going to go over here. It started off with flirty texting. Hear me, hear me out. It started with flirty texting, and while you were sitting there trying to message or talk to this person, for some of you reached out to them. For some of you didn't have to. For some of you, this individual started getting confused. Because when they would start messing with this person or talking with this person where they had to roll the dice, you were not even messaging. You weren't saying nothing to this person. You didn't say nothing to them. My love, I feel like your energy was like, uh-huh, I see. There's something's just not right. Yep, soulmates. You connect. You guys connect on a different level than what the what this what this masculine and these karmics connected as. They connect by flesh. You guys connect by spirit. There's a difference. There's a difference. And that's why this individual had to roll them dice. That's why this masculine had to roll them dice, love, because they had to sit there. They are connected by flesh. Okay? The tingles down in, down in the private area. It was nothing about spiritual connecting, telepathic connection, none of that. It was all about take or give, give or take. Okay, you better take before you get got. That's what I'm getting here. It's just a, it was nasty, and this person was in the middle of all that energy with the open heart. Oh yeah, they got toe up from the flow up, and that's why your boundaries is up so high when they come running back, because they ain't no it, it's not no duck duck goose here. You're not doing that. These influences. This person was bluffing. Okay, for some of you, they may have bluffed. Oh, you know my day ones and all. No, these are like your day your day a hundreds, a hundred and two. You don't they they they. they ooh. They're not as loyal as they thought they were. And now you're in this healing energy. They're hoping that you're healed enough so that time has passed by to come back towards you. Because they've been released from somebody else. And it's not only that some of them have been released. They had to walk away because their dignity and their self-respect was getting so poor. It was so downhill with this open heart between uh, who's going to win all, who's going to win at all costs and things. There's something here very, very nasty. Mm-hmm. Because again, collective, they think they have the clarity. They ain't got no clarity. This is all, look at these dice. Like, it just looks like it's all over the place. What? Spirit, give us some for that clarity. 
Because the clarity sound like it ain't clarifying, okay? Not by itself. So let me show my collective spirit what we're talking about here, please, and thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Yep, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Shallow. I didn't say the word shallow, Colette. Look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's what I'm... <laughs> Claire, that's what I'm not going to do. Uh, but look, it, I mean, come on, babe. Do you see this? They thought they had clarity. They were looking on the outside. Again, something ain't right about over here. And distracted. I mean, if you look at this distraction card. Hold on, babe. You know, it looks like this person's afraid to go into the deep. Do you see what I mean? Like, they're, they're standing there. Distracted. By what? The shadow Killy, Killy, uh, Kitty Pool. There was Killy. Kelly, somebody's name Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Okay, Kells. Ooh, I like that. Um, yeah, shallow, empty, boredom. They kept splashing water in the three feet when they should have went to the nine. That's where they would have met you at. And this person couldn't swim. Oh yeah, feminine would have. Feminine, like I said before, feminine already knows she would have. She would have helped. She or he would have helped the masculine, of course. But having this open. Ah, oh, man, I feel so sad for this person. I know, collective, I know. Screw them, right? I get it. I get it. I understand your pain. I get it. But this person didn't know what they were going into. Them dice just look unreliable. I cannot stop looking. <laughs> and somebody came towards me and said, man, I want to do a second chance. You better third chance put them dice down because they look unreliable. And this is what the clarity is here, babe. They were so distracted and being so shallow and not looking at things a bit deeper, clarifying clarity, that they ran into a brick wall. And what they were bored with was that the feminine here wasn't going to sit there and play games like this. The feminine was going to sit there and play tag team back again. Nope, they weren't going to tag team nothing. They're not playing. Tag your it, tag it, nope. But this energy is tag your it, tag your it. But it's very dangerous to be in that type of tag your it in the middle of a dang uh, battle with somebody like this karmic. Um, I'm going to say karmic because I, I keep saying your person. I keep throwing that around. So I really don't use the word karmic, but I see why it's being, it, it gets used. It's, this is a lesson here. And this person had an open heart in the middle of all that and got so distracted. They went in there with that open heart. Okay. Ended up hitting a brick wall. They got let go of. That's what happened here. They were too... Look at they just they didn't see deep enough. I'm telling you that clarity wasn't clarifying, but now it is. Look at it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. This person thought they had the biggest clarity of all, which they didn't have. They didn't have that. Nope. They weren't for sure, but they were gonna run. They sure were gonna run and get that validation though with that open heart. Mm-hmm. A lot of you, this person started connecting with this uh in other individual, this this person over here. The, the, the unreliable, let's just put that way. And they started messaging them. And this 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 person over here knew that the feminine was over here. They knew that. This person just wanted to take from the feminine to prove a point. And this person went in there with an open heart thinking someone was being very, very sincere. And they got played. They had to re They walked away because they just got played or they were released. What do you want from me? We did what we did. I said what I said. Even though I didn't mean it, it was a time of the moment. Somebody here got played the F out. Like, it's... But then you can't... You can't feel some type of way. Of course you can. But I'm feeling kind of sorry for this person because the open heart energy here is just like... They went full-fledged in. Like, this is it. This, you know... I knew they were going... I knew, I knew they were going to finally fold or something like that. And it's not... That's not what happened. In fact, this masculine or feminine over here needs to set up boundaries with each other. They don't know boundaries. There's no boundaries over here. Run all over the place. Do what you want. Ride on the walls, in the mansion, jump on the couch, okay? Put the tablet in the dishwasher, all that type of stuff. It's crazy wild over there. And this person, look, I'm telling y'all with them dice. Mm -mm. Them dice, back of the deck. Now we got somebody here that's wanting some true commitment. Because over here, there was tablets, there was phones, Okay, things being put into the dishwasher. Somebody even tried to put a fork in a plug. This is weird energy here. I'm, I'm not going to lie. From the beginning, it's been that weird to me, collective. It's just off. It's just off. And this person, didn't, they couldn't go over there like, look, 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 loves. This is not what they know. Remember, 
This, this looks a bit solid. I'm going to be honest. I'm not saying the return is solid. I'm not saying that. It's just the picture. It's like somebody's now for sure. Okay, I'm done rolling dice. Okay, I crapped out. I, I can't play no more. I can't play no more. Now this masculine spirit. What's this masculine doing now since they've been released from this person? They're craving intimacy. That solid energy. They want to come back. They want to come back and they want to make amends. They want to say their piece. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody's really like down bad. Okay. They're clashing with their thoughts and everything because this attachment that they were bluffing about had them distracted with their open heart and got smashed in. They should have set up boundaries and then they got their self released or they released themselves, whichever one it is. But at the bottom of the deck, we have finality. Okay farewells now i'm getting the energy here where this person got bounced from over there and they're trying to bounce back over here to the feminine and they're gonna get bounced right back over there and they're gonna have to walk away from both situations for the time being yeah because then you look at things from a different perspective okay instead of walking around blaming everybody else being bitter okay they're gonna have to get out this damn fantasy period they gotta get out of that okay because this escaping route you know okay i gotta bounce for here i gotta okay i got their validation okay i got that okay it looks like they're single okay look at it they're, they keep escaping. Where they keep escaping? Yeah, their dishonesty, their deceptive selves, them, them being deceptive towards themselves. There's a change that needs to be made here. If that change is never seen within, if that change is not, if they don't untangle themselves from this web, they're going to stay like this. It says curse, hex, witchcraft, negative mind. They don't stay in a negative mindset. I'm not going to get, I'm not getting witchery here. I'm not, you know. Yeah, look, in silence. They can't run out and tell nobody nothing because both parties going to shut down on them. This person needs to do some healing. And and still, they feel like it's only you. They feel like you're the one that can uplift them, get them out this negative mindset, feminine, because from the jump, I feel you've been solid. And we haven't really been talking about the feminine much. We've been talking about this person. So place yourself wherever you feel you need to fit, babe, if that's where you want. Yeah, look, pride. Too prideful. I need to heal. I need to sit my butt down. Spirit, what's this releasing? What happened here with this releasing for the collective? Family. This person may have talked about a family. Like, you remember what I just said a minute ago? When these two, you know, I said what I said. You know, we did what we did. I'm done. Da, da, da. They probably even were told, let's have a family. They may have kids with this person, may not. But somebody was sweet-talked into something here pregnancy doesn't mean someone's pregnant could be but what i'm getting here more is something that you create you plant the seeds and it grows that's not what happened they, that that was released the moment they got over there with them dice it ain't solid over there it's not and here they are in the background it's like they're walking away from this memory right here thinking they was going to be with this um hot pocket over here and this hot pocket wasn't wanting to do this. That's not what the hot pocket wanted. The hot pocket wanted to keep this masculine from the feminine. There's something here. Soulmates, deep love, unity, connection. And they were influenced with their shallow, their shallow ways. Being this shallow and having an open heart is a dangerous combination. You'll run into any wall and say, oh man, there, there's a doorway. You run right into it. Have you ever done that before collective where you try to go through a door and you like for sure that's unlocked and you, you, you press up against it trying to open it and you kind of bounce back off of it? That's what's happening here. And now all they want to do is come back to you because you gave them feminine true intimacy. You listen to their whatever they had to say. How was your day? Things like that. And now they just so, so, so want to apologize. It's been at the beginning of the reading. And they're hoping time has went by enough. Okay, so they can visit your healing journey and see where you're at on it. Okay, let's see what that healing journey do for the for the feminine or the the divine being. Put yourself wherever fit, baby. I don't want to confuse nobody. Let's see how the let's see how that's going for my other half, my the divine being. I bet I'm gonna be able to come back. I just gotta give it time. I just gotta give it time, and they'll realize they'll realize what spirit. Oh, they'll realize that you withdrew from them. Okay, is that what you're saying? They realize you withdrew from them and that you really see, you're, you're really simping after the feminine. They're not coming after you. Her beauty, her light, his handsomeness, his light has already been given to somebody else or given to themselves. They weren't influenced by other people. They've been there and done it. They tried to help. You didn't want the help. Okay, they're going to realize in this healing energy that you withdrawn. That's the realization here. You see that? 
It's like I can do bad all by myself. I realized while you were releasing or while you walked away from somebody else after you walked away from me, juggled those little dice, had your little game fun, now you're realizing something. The feminine has withdrew. And now this masculine can't help but to admire her strength. Because you weren't having to be told to withdraw or not, uh, feminine, my divine being. You just, you just did it. You did it. You have hope, okay, that one day... Maybe these memories can come into play, make new memories. But still, this person abandoned you at the end of the day. And I don't think you really want to sit there and revisit that energy. Yep, and look, abandoned the divine feminine. The whole time, he exhausted this feminine. She exhausted this masculine. Okay? Their other half. You exhausted them to the point of where they had to withdraw and sit and figure out what did they do wrong. They got over that though, they're healing. They see they're not the problem. They see they're not the problem, but oh yeah, whoever you are that left this person for droopy dice, here we are. There's a realization coming to here and the realization this person was drawn from the connection completely because you were too you were too hollow and shallow to see just how deep this feminine was really was willing to go with you. You abandoned. You let them you left them alone. Mm -hmm. Left out, walked away. Now for some of you feminines, you left this person, but they really truly abandoned the connection because they thought they thought loose dice was better than over here with the pottery barn. They thought that that was better. Mm -hmm. They thought that the, the loose dice, shake it or make it, and that it was better than the uh pottery barn you know, pottery barn, let's build, let's let let's build, build, build together on serious no, I choose you energy. You chose them and they they what? This is what they did here. And while this masculine or feminine was over here at that open heart dealing with the loose dice energy, they ended up getting their heart stomped on. I'm gonna tell you what it is. And now someone here is hoping to rely on the memories to actually bring them close to the connection again or hoping that your healing energy is still stuck in the hope in the memories that you guys shared one way or another yep and this is exhausting for them longing for you divine being it's exhausting it's exhausting because this person created a very very big distance acting like this they created a fat distance yep like i saw earlier mistakes they sure made one, and they made the wrong decision. This person, this ain't their first time in the rodeo with loose dice over here. And it might not have been their first time at back of the pottery barn. They were bouncing back. You know, like I said, when you go to a door and you try to open it up, like when you go to stores and stuff, and it looks like all the lights is on inside, and it feels a little sad and embarrassing when you try to just go through the door and it's locked on you. Okay? You don't know what to do. You, you just feel like you've been violated. <laughs> <laughs> that could like that I know because it's happened to me, okay? I'm going to tell you what I'm getting here. I'm getting uh, water energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay, fire energy. Aries Leo Sag. Okay. Earth energy. Earth and water. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Air energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm going to pull out two, uh, two initials. We have A, first, middle, last. We have Y. Let me pick out one more. Let's see what this one is. And we have H, first, middle, last, initial. Okay, collected. That's been the reading for you today. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I know I didn't bring out any tarot, but maybe next time. I'm just looking at the time. It's like it's going by quickly. Okay. So, I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Just smell tarot, okay? If you like something a little personal, okay, for yourself and for your situation, you may just... Um, just small tarot at gmail.com if you want. Or you can find another reader on the platform. Of course, you know that, okay? I hope you enjoy the reading and fantastic Saturday evening. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.